Welcome back. East Carson Street in the South Side is known for its bar, restaurants, and nightlife scene. It's also well known for the diverse stores and retail shops. Oh yes, in fact, Mikey, the East Carson Business District is home to seven total resale shops, making the neighborhood a hot spot for vintage clothing hunters. Recycled, upcycled clothing, I mean, it's all a really big trend right now, and not just for ugly Christmas sweaters. I stopped in to some of the shops to see what what people are buying today. Check it out. Pittsburgh's South Side neighborhood has it all from thrift to sneaker heads to couture vintage resale. Well, we're showcasing the seven resale shops up and down East Carson Street. They make up 25% of our um, retail shopping from 1st to 30th Street. Claire Pro is the creative director of the South Side Fashion Show, which was put on hold this year due to the pandemic. As typical fashion seasons go, yes, this Southside fashion show was supposed to be this fall 2020. But that doesn't mean you still can't get inspired by great looks by visiting these resale stores safely in person. And a lot of these stores actually have moved online since COVID. Um, so if you follow them on Facebook or Instagram, you can see all the items that they have for store pickup. Why don't you bring the purse back over? We try and buy things that are from the 1950s to the early 2000s. Um, things you can just wear with modern day clothing, things that are unique, youthful. Kalusi says their goal is to curate a selection of items that are affordable and fun. She says their reworked items like their denim are the most popular at Highway Robbery Vintage. Most of them are from around this area, from people's own closets. I do a lot of house calls and I do a lot of buying that way. Check out their Instagram every Monday to see what they're featuring in the store for that week. And if we don't have something, we'll send you to Zed's, we'll send you to Buffalo, we'll send you to Three Rivers. We do fashion related items from 1860s to 1970s, so we cover well over 100 years of fashion. Johnson says they can fulfill any fashion need you have to set you apart on a daily basis, or if you're in need of a fabulous vintage wardrobe for a themed party. Three Rivers Vintage even provides clothing and accessories for many movies and TV shows. We're currently working with the marvelous Mrs. Maisel right now as we speak. Now, how cool is that? And the great thing about all of these unique vintage Southside shops is that they are walking distance. And if you don't feel like walking, you can hop on a Scooby. Scooby is a mobile application based on demand mobility service for those who prefer traveling by way of an electric moped. What's great about shopping with Scoobies is you can pull up and in and out. You can get in and out of a small spot. You don't need to parallel park your car. You can pause your ride and go into the stores. Okay, time to hop back onto the Scooby and ride down to Goodwill, where we will find the thrifty Yinzer, Kristen Malone. Goodwill is definitely the main store that I shop at, especially because they have so many locations. So it's really easy just to pop in. We popped into Goodwill on the south side to shop with Malone. She teaches thrifting techniques on her blog and social media to showcase her thrifted and vintage finds, but also to prove that you could look amazing on a budget. First off, this Tassimo coffee maker. I'm really excited about this. Uh, probably gonna gift it to my parents. Mom and dad, I hope you are not watching, even though you probably are. Uh, don't look at that. She also found a brand new Ray Dunn kitchen utensil set and a brand new Vera Bradley backpack. I do have this little uh, Mercedes Benz ride on car, which um, I mean, what, you know, two and a half year old doesn't need a Mercedes Benz ride on car. <laughs> Mikey, I want one of those now, and I'm almost 30. Yeah, right. You know what? That was so cute, like seeing you on the Scooby. But also, I love to see how all of those uh, thrift shops, they all work together in that they area. They all, they have such a close-knit community mm -hmm. and relationship with each store down there. So that was really nice to yeah. see. And you don't even have to go physically into the shops to shop in person to support all of these businesses. Yeah, for sure, Selena. Even following them on social media, maybe even liking or sharing some of their posts can really make a huge difference. Yeah, that's yeah. all you need to do. It's good <laughs> to support everybody right now. Well, coming up next, Chip and the Charge Ups new release. It has just been released. It's out now with a farewell message to 2020. We talk with Chip about what the band wants to say as we head into 2021 coming up after this.